Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Springer, and I love this toy. But before we check them out, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it will help me out and the channel. If you'd like to further help out the channel, please share with your friends if you like what you see. Share this video on social media, ask your friends to come over, check out the channel, and if they like it, subscribe as well. Since we're losing our community options and our notifications, the best way to keep up with the channel is to come back and check it out often. I usually upload one to two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed the donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I would certainly appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and now let's go and check out this figure. And here is Springer out of the box, and in his, at least in my opinion, weaker of the three modes, this is his armored vehicle mode. Um, and if you saw the video that Patriot Prime and I did together from 80s Toys of West Virginia, uh, this is that KO or high quality KO or unofficial reissue that you saw me pick up in that video. I picked up this guy, I picked up Scourge. Uh, so this is that figure. This is not an original G1. This is an unofficial reissue or a high quality KO. So real quick, I did want to show the box on that. So if you are uh, watching out for this kind of thing and you want to make sure either you're hunting for a KO or you're wanting to make sure that you don't get a KO, whatever the case may be, I wanted to show off something on the box, just a couple of easy telltale signs for you to keep up with. Uh, um, you always want to look for spelling. Uh, there's always uh, usually going to, if you, you're going to find er spelling errors on KOs. So, you, you know, look and see, this one doesn't have any, but if you look around, you find any spelling errors, you know, that's a KO. Uh, and then you also want to look at the spacing in the letters. Just look at a lot of pictures of the original packaging and look at the spacing in the letters. For example, down here with the assortment number, you'll see how squeezed in together that slash is right there between the two numbers. But then the five and the seven are, are kind of away from it. They're not evenly spaced. So, you know, things like that you're going to want to look for. So now real easy telltale signs uh, are going to be things like, for example, the black and the red hues here on the box. You'll notice that they're kind of 50-50. Uh, in the original G1, the red should be coming up higher. There should be a lot more red than black. It should not be going all the way to black up here. So that's a real easy telltale sign. And then, of course, when he's in the package, you'll notice that the uh, rub symbol right here, this was not on in the package. The rub symbols are usually not on the figures. In fact, none of the factory stickers are usually on these figures. When they are reissues or unofficial reissues or KOs, they're, they're not going to have any stickers on them. That includes the rub symbol. So keep an eye out for that. If you see him in the package, he doesn't have his rub symbol. He doesn't have any stickers, reds. That, those are really easy ways to tell if you're getting a KO or not. So we're going to set the box off to the side and we're going to take a closer look at it. So Springer does come with a couple of things. He's got this sword here, which we're going to use here in a moment. So there he is. I just set that off to the side and he's got his gun, which he's already got mounted there in his vehicle mode. So yeah, again, armored card mode, uh, never really cared for this mode much. Uh, it looked okay in the cartoon, uh, but in, 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 in the toy, uh, it was a little lacking in my opinion, kind of the weaker of the three modes. The other two modes are really kind of his best modes, but here he is. The, um, armored card mode is approximately five inches long. It's about two inches tall, two and a half. If you want to go to the top of the weapon, um, you know, and that's, that's really about it. It's mostly gray, got some yellows and some greens in there. You can definitely tell who this is supposed to be. He rolls nicely. You can only see two of the wheels or these front ones right there. Those are rubber wheels with pins in there so they roll very nicely and he does have these two little plastic wheels on the back there kind of for uh to help stabilize him although they don't really do a great job he kind of tends to uh now he doesn't do it there you go he kind of tends to do that which i guess is kind of cool uh to do exactly what i did just now i guess if you're trying to shoot a commercial and you want him to do that that's kind of cool but when you're trying to get him to roll straight it's kind of a crapshoot whether he's going to do it or not but there you go it's a it's a serviceable enough little car mode i suppose um and that's really all there is to say about that i guess so we'll move on we're going to take off his weapon take a look at that real quick you can get a good look at that weapon yeah shiny shiny chrome chrome set that off to the side transformation into his helicopter mode very very cool we're going to take this top piece here slide that forward Take these two back pieces here, slide these back like that. And then they are on a double hinge right there. So you're going to bring these in together and you're going to notice a little peg and ports right there on each side. So you can tab these together just like that. 
Uh, let's see. Now we're going to go down here to the bottom. We're going to take these two pieces here. Let me move them up a little bit. Take these two pieces here. Swing these out. There we go. Just swing these all the way out like that. And then take these whole gray pieces here and here and just slide this is all one thing one unit so slide it together and you're going to slide them down towards the rear of the vehicle we're going to set him down now we're going to bring in his sword and very carefully at least mine it's super tight so I've, it's loosened up a little bit over time but uh it was super tight when i first got it it's still a little tight on this side so it's kind of scary so i'm just very careful with that uh as i'm splitting it and then we're going to take this little piece right here and we're going to plug it in at the top right there and there is springer in his helicopter mode which i think looks so much better than his vehicle mode or his um, armor cart mode and the helicopter mode is approximately seven inches long it's about two and a half inches tall and it's got a wingspan of about four inches and this is a really really neat helicopter mode yeah he's got fists showing right there but i think they kind of hide well enough i think that just looks really really nice it would be cool if he would have come with two guns instead of just a one and then you could just plug a gun on each side and kind of have them in a an attack thing uh kind of a formation there or configuration rather i think something like that would have been cool if you can just imagine another one of those on the other side i think that would have been cool so missed opportunity i may try and find uh track down another springer weapon and just kind of do it myself i'm kind of tempted to so there you go uh so there's the helicopter mode for springer i've seen that on some of the other figures, I, I on the actual G1 figures, this tends to spin a little better. I don't know if that's just something that with time and wear, it's going to get better. I can tell you that this is spinning already. It's spinning about 100% better than it did when I first got him out of the package. Uh, when I originally got him out of the package, this was super stiff. If I flicked it like, I, like I'm doing now, just flicking it, it would maybe go from there to there. Or maybe from like there to there. And that's about it. So... You know, I, I've just been doing this over and over and over with them, and it's it's gotten better. So I don't know if maybe the G1 genuine figures just spin better because they're old or because they fit better. I really don't know, but there's that. So, All right, let's get in the robot mode. We're going to take this back off, and we're going to put it back together, those blades again, so that we can form that sword and set it off to the side. Now we're going to come back to the figure here. We're going to take the these uh gray pieces here that we shifted down earlier now we're going to shift them up these th have three positions by the way so now they're the down position center position that's for the vehicle mode for the armor card mode and then for the robot mode you want to go up or forward one more there that's going to be for your robot mode bring the chest down and then actually we should have done this first that was that's on me bring them back down to the center bring these forward then shift them up and bring the chest down. There we go. Now you can straighten out the arms. We're going to go here to these gray pieces and actually split the tail. And now we can pull these and separate them all the way down. And then these little tail pieces are going to come up into the side, just the same place they were with the little armored card mode. And there you go. There is Springer in his robot mode. Now I'm going to uh, warn you ahead of time. He is, uh, he tends to be front heavy, so he is probably going to fall on me a lot, <laughs> but there you go. There's Springer in his robot mode. Cool little robot here. And, uh, this is approximately, uh, five inches tall. Um, so, you know, G1 small, you know, G1 die cat still figure. So, uh, you know, tends to be small, uh, but there you go and, uh, check out his face. Very G1. This is definitely very, you know, a lot of things with, with transformers, a lot of times their, their faces did not really reflect what you saw in a cartoon. This guy does, you know, this guy definitely looks like he did in the cartoon. I got a little Nick on mine. It's unfortunate because it's a new figure, but there you go. Uh, it, it, there he is in his robot mode. We can of course give him his, Oh, let's do real quick articulation. Uh, Yeah you're kind of looking at it the shoulders can go forward and backwards and he's got two hinges at the elbow two very very tight hinges at the elbow that i do not like to mess with but there you go you can fold them all the way up as you saw for transformation so yeah he's got a couple of points of articulation there for his show for his uh, elbows that's about it and i guess you can kind of move his shoulders in and out a little bit that's that's really about it head does nothing legs do nothing uh you know he is a g1 brick that's about it. So now we're going to give him his weapons. So we're going to give him 
the gun and then we're going to give him his sword on the other side and now he's probably really going to start falling over on me because again this guy is back heavy yeah it's 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 back heavy i can't usually i display him i put the sword on his back because that's just 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 not going to hold it's he's too back heavy for that that's which is unfortunate but what are you going to do so let's uh let's take his sword off and see if i can get him standing real quick <laughs> oh he's not going to want to stand for me is he Come on, buddy. There you go. Now we got him standing. And real quick for comparison, we'll bring in a couple of his buddies as seen in the movie. And yeah, we'll, we'll bring the camera up a little bit. So uh, yeah, here he is with Hot Rod and with Springer. And this is kind of funny because in the movie, in the cartoon originally, he was kind of like the bruiser. He's, the, he's supposed to be the big guy. And yet out of these three, he's the smallest one, which is kind of hysterical and the one that won't stand either so <laughs> we'll get him off to the side uh but yeah very very cool figure and uh again not uh, not really any difference between this and the original it's the exact same toy the only difference is that i got him much cheaper than an original and i got him brand new out of the box i got to put the stickers on him and all of that stuff so very very happy with this purchase and that about covers the transformers generation one unofficial reissue high quality ko <laughs> springer let me know what you think of this figure give me some thumbs up subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time